Welcome back. It might be Saturday for you. It might be Tuesday for you, but it is Thanksgiving Thursday 2013 for me. Welcome back to our Saturday Post Gamecast. This isn't a special bonus Thanksgiving episode. I usually record these on Thursdays, and I did not want to hiccup this week, so I'm taking a break from cooking Thanksgiving to get you some more Mega Man 2. We're continuing with Bubble Man, which has... I know I gush about the music in this game a lot, but this, this one really might be... Bye. I can't. It's hard to pick favorites in this. But it's going to be hard for me to talk because I want to just listen to this music and jam to it. Now, luckily, I have to pick my way carefully through this stage so I get to listen to a good amount of it. Doing my best not to sing along with it. So I've noticed that this, this particular emulator doesn't do uh, sound effects as well as I would probably like it to. Uh, my Metal Blade sound effects and, and the Woodman Leaf Shield sound effects are pretty pretty gross, generally, with this one. So a lot of times those cover up our music. But uh, Bubble Man's got a great stage. It's not uh, not too tricky. This video will take on Bubble Man and Heat Man before we go on to. Uh, take on Dr. Wily. So on this Thanksgiving day, we'll have plenty of time to talk about this as I pick my way through these couple of stages. Uh, we got up early this morning. Sarah went into work uh, part of the day today. I'll be uh, having the turkey ready, and we did some prep last night. She put together the, the green bean casserole last night. Uh, she baked pie last night. And then today I'm doing turkey and potatoes and, and heating up the uh, the stuffing and I like these little these big fish enemies that launch out the, the shrimpy guy. So I'll be heating up everything today. And also working on working on live tweeting our Thanksgiving activities today. So this will be fun to put together. The one thing that I really am gonna be missing out on sadly, is, is seeing all the uh, NFL action in real time, or in, in early in the day. I'll be watching them live later on online, but uh, it's something's going to be different about not being able to turn on the Lions game at 11.30 in the morning, like I was used to back in Iowa. It's going to be 5.30 p.m. before any football starts here, and then of course it's going to go late, late into the night, so I won't be able to watch all the games. Although that that exciting Steelers Ravens matchup later tonight ugh, would would probably not be a very exciting game for me to watch anyway. So outside of having Antonio Brown on my fantasy football team, so here I'm kind of diving into the melee there to grab my one up and some health pickups. Sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly today. So hazard and all of those black spikes are our instant kill. They're Mega Man's true to tradition of having the anything sharp is an instant kill. Mega Man can get waxed and nailed with every kind of projectile from robots in the world, but uh, touching anything sharp, even from below, jumping up into something sharp, will take Mega Man down. They didn't have an adjustment in the waterfall physics in this. A lot of games from this era, when you're on a waterfall, they make the jumping tricky. The, that waterfall is constantly pushing you down in a lot of games. The physics in the water here too allows Mega Man to uh, jump higher, but he moves more slowly. So you notice as I'm jumping here, I have to do tiny taps of the, of the jump button to get up there. Bubble Man. Weak to the metal blade, down he goes. We're waiting for the last few bubbles to go away. And now we're going to pick up what may be one of the most important weapons, as we'll see much later in this game, the uh, the bubble, bubble weapon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a funny translation of the name, bubble weed. All right, now... Heat Man. Probably the toughest level that I face in this. And uh, if I went back and played this again, 
and recorded it or wanted to put more work into making these videos, which I don't. Uh, I, I would have trained better for this and uh, found found a good path through it that didn't have so much slow, methodical picking as this does. There are, there are a lot better ways to get through this stage faster and, and a little more exciting without without being all that more much more challenging. I just didn't think of it as I was kind of learning my way through. You got these guys who do the very annoying homing on your position. And I was jumping for that one up and killed myself. Jumping for the one up. Another disadvantage on Heat Man's level is that it's probably, as much as I, again, gushing about music, this is probably my least favorite music in this game. All these, all these other levels have such great themes, theme songs, but this one just doesn't doesn't do it for me. Some people might like it, although I, I have not seen a lot of universal accolades for this tune. And this is the level that takes me the longest to get through. Airman has had quite a few blunders too, I suppose, in this one. That music's a little bit better, so it's more forgiving to listen to. Here we listen to the the irritating sound of the of the leaf shield on this emulator. It just doesn't it doesn't recreate it very well. And now it's been a, a very 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 long time since I have played these on an NES on an old TV. So I guess I can't tell you for sure how things sounded. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure it didn't sound like this. Also, you notice, and you might notice on a lot of NES games like this, whenever there's a sound effect happening, the music changes. It doesn't actually change the tune, but uh, the NES could only handle so many different channels of sound happening at the same time. So if a designer wanted four tracks of music playing, that was fine. And that's what a lot of these are, four tracks of music. But the NES could not handle four tracks of music playing plus a sound effect. So um, what they did was to get around that, they programmed the the music channel to drop out, one of the music channels to drop out when a sound effect was playing. So if you notice when I use this leap shield, the music suddenly becomes less exciting, if you can even hear it underneath the of this, this bad leaf shield sound that it dropped out a channel of audio. And most sound effects, you didn't notice it because sound effects are generally so short, right? The sound of jumping, the sound of one shot being fired, or a, you know, for jumping. Usually that doesn't drop enough of the audio track. Uh, and on some older games, they just didn't use as many audio tracks. But the more complex games where they tried to stretch out what the NES could do, like this one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm experimenting with item item one here. Or sorry, item three. I get item one at the end of Heat Man. But when you have extended sound effects like the leaf shield going ja 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 in this game, or the metal blade that has kind of a longer sound effect as it flies through the air. You notice it takes that through. Now here's where I should have used item three to get through this this path a lot more quickly. And these, these appearing blocks in Mega Man can become pretty irritating for a lot of players. Now I have been... Uh, here, I'm, I'm just doing this to charge up my my weapons, just like I did back in uh, Crash Man stage, using these guys as infinite infinite ammo drops for me to get my, my health and weapon energy charged back up. So bear with me while we do that. Now I do have a mobility weapon or a mobility item ready, item two, to go across the uh, the upcoming chasm. So we do save some time there, hopping ac hopping along these. There we go. Picked up a recharge. So yeah, I hear, you'll hear that that Woodman leap shield dropping out our music channel a lot. in this. And it's, it's one of those middle channels. I'm trying to listen for it now because I, I don't usually listen for it while I'm playing because I'm focusing on that. But it looks it seems like it's one of, it's not the it's not the bass line in this one. It doesn't seem like it's the percussion line. Hmm. 
feel like as playing this, like get over there, come on, kid. This was just got some irritating things, and I could have taken a much better path through this level. Not that I would change the route, but just the way I handle things like this, I would use my mobility items a little bit more and a little bit, uh, a little bit smarter. Here I'm waiting for a gap in the in those guys that will never come. So I just had to take a hit there. I'm lucky I get recharges right on that. Here we have some of the the blocks that can be blown up by the crash bomb for more easy crossing. And it really wasn't worth my time to do that. And again, will this one be worth my time? No. Okay, I get a little shortcut there. Using this energy, go through here, and I'm just waiting for more of those homing homing dudes to get, get by. Here's another little recharge we're working on. And I ended up just going over that anyway. Should've, shouldn't have waited to use a crash bomb for that. So this is it's, it's a, a long level. Oh, whoops, already fell off. Now, this is a, a long lava chasm that I've got enough of my item to to do a big skip, and thank goodness I have that because we are ready to move on. Normally I'd have to wait for all of those appearing blocks to take me and make, I don't know how many jumps it is, from block to block to block all the way across. Another one of those guys. I don't care now, I'm just rushing through. And finally we've made it to... Our Heat Man room. Let's check out our bubble weapon. And I don't know how many of these we'll, we'll actually see. The bubble lead comes out of Mega Man's arm and then trails along the ground along surfaces until it hits a target or a wall. So there's Heat Man. Bubbly takes him out pretty quickly, pretty easily. Yay! So now we've defeated all the eight Robot Masters. And uh, we'll watch while the Wily stage loads up. We won't actually get into it this video. Atomic Fire for Heat Man. And also... Da, 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 da. Dr. Light is going to equip us with one more mobility item. Item one, baby. Get your weapons ready. I love those sideways exclamation marks, those angled exclamation marks that they used in the, in the NES. I don't know why they didn't just use short vertical exclamation marks, but they wanted them longer, so they, they used the hypotenuse of the square to show those exclamation marks. That is Dr. Wily himself in the flesh, in the little flying UFO saucer thing. And we get our first look at Mega Man 2, Dr. Wily's castle. Next week we will tackle the first Wily stage.